This video is about the construction details of a webcam equipped robot, which can be controlled via the internet. Vehicles like that are called rover. The electric car is about 28cm long, 24cm wide and 15cm high. The cables connecting the rover to an old computer power supply are running to the power pole at the top of the chassis. The cables are tightened with the help of a cord running to a deflection roller and a counterweight. The mechanism is fixed at a ceiling beam. To avoid the rover from getting tangled up in its own cabling, the power pole at the top of the vehicle is equipped with an anti-twist mechanism. Three cables connect the rover to a voltage of 5 and 12 V. The tiny laptop fixed at the chassis of the rover and operating as the host computer needs 12 V. The host computer is an Gecko EduBook of the Nortec company with a display size of 8.9 inch running the Linux distribution Knopix in version 6.2. Some cooling for the fanless netbook is done by a ventilator, because there are sometimes tropical temperatures at the target area. Moreover, the EduBook I own is a pre-production model, which is heating up stronger while operating. The main processor is an X-Core 86 CPU, running with a clock speed of 1 GHz and being assisted by 512 MB of memory. All components are soldered on a very tiny board. No supercomputer, but there is no need for a brightly colored Wish and Wush 3D desktop. The programming work of the rover runs in a command line. Anything else would be a waste of time and energy. The most important device of the control electronics is an Atmel 8 16PU microcontroller, operating with a clock speed of 12 MHz. This device is connected to the EduBook by an USB interface. The VUSB firmware of Objective Development is running at the microcontroller. The motor of the camera focus and the drive motor are connected to two H-bridges. A standard servo type S21 actuates the steering of the rover. The total speed reduction of the geared motor is 1 to 90 and the mechanical power output is sufficient to move the rover slowly. If the robot hits an obstacle, the motor gets blocked. The current running through the blocked motor is just about 400 mA, which is why there is no mechanism to disable the drive in case of a collision. You don't harm the rover even if you hit the border of the universe while driving with top speed. The rover wasn't designed to do burnouts and drag races and you don't have to fasten the seat belts while driving the vehicle. The webcam is a Logitech C160 with a maximum resolution of 640 to 480 pixel. The manual focus is actuated by a tiny motor and the gear wheels of an old CD-ROM drive. Two micro switches of an old computer mouse are acting as sensors. Two LED flashlights were disassembled to build the rover lights. 21 LEDs inside of the reflector of the first flashlight operate as beam light. Four LEDs of the second one are arranged around the webcam. Both lights can be switched to half or full power by using pulse width modulation. The connection to the access point is done by an USB stick at the power pole of the rover. A DLAN box 
connects the access point with my router and my router is connected with my internet server. You can download the software and the wiring scheme at the project page. You can access the rover by internet, just by using a browser with JavaScript enabled. I told you how to use the control panel at the previous video. In addition to the browser, you need patience, because you won't feel the thrill of speed. Let's open the throttle of the video cam to accelerate the turnaround, which takes more than 5 minutes with normal speed. Compared to other interplanetary rovers, our little friend is indeed a sports car. The Mars rover Opportunity was designed to travel just 100 meter in one day. So start your own project and tell me about the results. The Interplanetary Rover Driver Association is waiting for you.